you ready? You gotta be really fast because it's raining. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go! Oh. Turn on your first one. Daddy's getting all the suitcases in. Made it to the airport. Poor Winnie the Pooh got dropped on his head in the car park. Same that one. Okay, oh my goodness, I finally got a spare minute. It is about 25 past seven. Our flight oh takes gosh. off in about 40 minutes. We gotta get going. We, this has been like the quickest, but like not in a good way. Like we've had to be really quick, airport experience. I've literally, I think I've actually ever had, I don't think I've ever had to rush like this, con of you. No, we haven't, have we? Not in our nine years. He's <laughs> trying to figure out the passcode. Trying to get his password. These two have I been good as well. I thinking it was going to the gym. Just in. Connor. Yeah, bad of it. No, it's actually quite bad of me because I yeah, said last night, Connor, put your phone under your pillow because I didn't want you to make Romeo up when the alarm went off. He didn't get up at all. And you were like, no. And I said, no, honestly, I always hear it every single time your alarm goes off. And I didn't hear it. Connor woke me up saying it's quarter past four. We used to get up. Anyway, this is the first time ever my name has been spelled like that. E-L-I. I'm kind of here for it. Good handwriting as well. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Connor and I have both got ham and cheese toasties from Starbucks. Satan has had a full pot of mango from Marks and Spencer's. He's got a pan of chocolate over there. What's going on? I'm I managed to buy a new book. My love, I don't, what did you buy to show you for? Connor comes to the airport and expects like a full shopping experience, no. like we're at the mall. No, no, but I always get a new pair of socks and boxes. Socks and boxes? Yeah, that's my little treat to myself going on holiday. It's hot, Daddy. Yeah, it's hot, isn't it? Say, so, what are we going to go on? Uh, an aeroplane. Yeah. And a tractor as well. Yeah. Oh, interesting. He's got his kind of big box on. Are all my gals on the growing and growing that girl challenge? This is my activity of the day. Sprint into the gate. Literally, I hadn't done my peloton session yesterday, babe. The most activity I've done in a year. Here we go, mummy. Here we go. Oh, hold daddy's hands. Hold hands. Say bye bye, Herbie and Hecky. Say we're going on holiday. Guess who we're going to see? Who are we going to go see? Dinosaur. Yeah, we'll see dinosaurs as well. We could do the dinosaur stomp. An official hello to this vlog, which has started off in the most random of ways. Fun fact, this vlog was actually supposed to be a full pack with me, a full airport vlog. You weren't actually ever supposed to see any holiday content in this footage. But as usual, I literally was just rushed off of my feet. I don't even know where the past week has gone. Every single night for the past week, I've been saying to myself, okay, I need to pack tonight, I need to pack tonight. Then something's popped up or I just literally haven't had a moment to do it. Literally last night, Romeo was just refusing to go to bed for the whole night. I still hadn't packed my whole suitcase. Only half of the boys' suitcase was packed. Needed to do hand luggage, passports, everything like that. So it literally all happened like really quickly in the blink of an eye last night. Both boys were so good on the aeroplane. I was literally so just relieved that the flight went so smoothly. When we got off the plane, loads of people, like all the passengers were like, oh my God, I didn't even realize there was a baby on the plane. I didn't even realize there was a toddler on the plane. They were so good. It's just really nice to hear that as a parent. Like. I think it's just a really lovely thing for parents to compliment each other on that kind of stuff because it's not really something you hear very often that, oh, your children are so well behaved, blah, 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 blah. It's just really nice to hear, you know, and they were, they were good as gold, but I always think that because I'm their mum, you know, so it was just like a real honour to have validation from other people, I suppose, which we shouldn't feel like we need to have, but who am I kidding when it's a nice thing to hear? Anyway, so we've just arrived to our apartment. We've all been up since about 4 a.m. this morning, but Romeo and I thought that we would give you an apartment tour. We're in Spain, by the way. 
I don't think I've mentioned that to anybody. We're in a place called Oroela, which is actually where we came last summer for my dad's 60th birthday. We all shared like a massive villa together, but I didn't vlog it. It's a really, really lovely, family-friendly place. <laughs> but we all stayed in one massive villa and this time we've all decided to stay in our own separate villas, which I think is probably going to work out a bit better because it was chaos to say the least in the last villa actually now i've got romeo like it's just going to be nicer to come and really have our own space when we need to chill so this is our little apartment it's an absolute state at the moment because we've literally just walked in you know and you just like dump everything down so in here we've got kids room or saints room and obviously he's still in a cot so we've just brought the travel cot and popped that up there i'm just about to start unpacking um all of the clothes for them and stuff um and then we're gonna head out to do a food shop which i'm excited about but these are like the only main like baby things we bought for romeo so i really want to do like a big trip to decathlon maybe even later this afternoon because i really wanted to bring romeo's bouncer and stuff like that because obviously as you can see he's getting so big and chunky now i, I need to be able to pop him down but his bouncer didn't fit in any of the suitcases or anything so we do need to go and buy a few like baby items like that but i bought this baby float ring off of amazon which i think will be good i don't even know if he's gonna like the water but we'll see because satan will be spending a lot of time in the pool i'm sure i also brought this play mat well not it's not a play mat it's more just like a baby like soft mat that you can pop them on this is from h&m i've had this since he was born and i've not really used it at home but um i thought that would be handy so we do have that i guess that i can lie him down on and then i also bought this here it is it's like a uv baby tent for when we go to the beach and i was just thinking the bouncer we buy we can just pop him in there or he can lie down and play on this or so they're really like the only things i bought for romeo but yeah i need to i need to fully unpack i like i said i did really want to do like a full pack with me video but it was honestly just oh my god like i you guys would not actually have wanted to see me trying to pack because i was literally like not okay i was a shadow of myself basically oh mummy was a bit overwhelmed <coughs> wasn't she do you remember <coughs> i think you do because you weren't going to sleep were you at the time <coughs> so you helped actually didn't you didn't you and here we've got a little ensuite they've decorated it so that it's all mirrored which makes it look so much bigger we've got a bit of panelling over on the walls we've got a little dining table over here oh dad's having a nap over here wakey wakey me and yo is going to go check out the facilities and go in the sauna together like this aren't we <laughs> we're gonna go in the sauna and sweat it out little tv setup this is a bit of us this tv setup isn't it Khan? i'm inquiring about purchasing those ones being over there <laughs> out here we've got a big balcony which is going to be lovely to sit on Alfresco, when the evening, kids are napping it. yeah oh my god con you're so right alioli oh, we're gonna have our head. we're gonna be in our alioli era on this balcony but yeah they've got um a big development oh my gosh you know when the heat just hits you development going on over there but this is our outdoor area apparently it's a bar so we're very excited to hit that up Obviously not for the alcoholic drinks. Obviously I am only needing the alioli. Yeah. Pool. Somewhere there's a gym. But it's pretty gorgeous. And I'm a crazy woman over here. Stood here in my Adenola sweater. It's literally way too hot. Over here in this room is our room. And our bathroom. Well, we've got a shower. Hmm, okay. So I've just had a sudden thought. What am I going to do about bathroom kids? What do you think we should do about bathing the kids? Really happy with it. Very cute. Oh, Connor's already done his job. I see. Look what's in my bag. Obviously, my... Oh, my gosh. We need to... My Luella hat. I was just going to say we need to come up with a name for her. Do you guys remember the Baby Moon vlog? And the Pack With Me vlog for the Baby Moon in Dubai earlier this year? You know, this is the Queen... Oh my goodness, what a moment. Okay, so while Connor is just making sure that the boys are all okay, I am gonna crack straight on with getting this place as unpacked as possible. I don't know about anybody else, I literally can't, like, 
I just can't relax when things are a mess, so. Are you even a boy mum if you don't have these? Happy cream, kids mosquito spray. Child's Farm is probably my favourite brand in terms of sun cream. This is like my newborn scent for both the boys. I just absolutely love it. Ciao, Paul. Well, FYI, this is a bit gross, but this is from Freedom Mum. And it's literally like... I can't believe I didn't have this for saying. I actually don't know what I did. It's a little tool where you can pick out anything in their nose, like any little bogeys or anything like that. And it's just been so handy. And then this side we use for getting stuff out of their nails, like the little dirt. Because you know sometimes babies' nails can get really dirty. So that is like on the stuff. I must have used that so many times since Romeo's been born. And then oh my god, look. I bought Saint some new baby aters. Obsessed with mine and Connor's sunglasses. Oh, that's such a cute case. So I thought I'd buy him a pair of his own for holiday. How cool. Saint's puddle jumper. This is the first time purchase. I'm hoping he gets on with it okay. I mean, really, it's like the first holiday where he's actually gonna be jumping in, do you know what I mean? Okay, now for the boys' clothes. I feel like this is actually like a mini pack with me at the start of the holiday vlog anyway, do you know what I mean? So for those of you messaging me saying, please do a pack with me, haven't done a pack with me, but we can do an unpack with me. Look at all of this gorgeous, gorgeous stuff that we got from Bertie and me. I just can't even cope. They sent the loveliest little sets for Saint. Such good quality. So this adorable little changing mat for Romeo is from Bertie and me as well. It's a gorgeous brand. You should definitely check it out if you're looking for like cute kid stuff. Sun hats for the kids. Little Lywood one for saying I've got him matching swimming trunks. I don't think I'm actually going to manage to unpack any more swimmers because I can hear Romeo chattering away in there which means he's tired and ready to go to sleep. Oh, so, we should commence this later. I'm going to get my holiday gear on and we're going to go and do a best part of arriving on the first day. Food shop. Okay guys, fresh smoothie and a food shop. Is there anything much better on your first day of holiday? Oh, by the way, look at what Satan's carrying around. This like food shop trolley we found in the apartment. Yes. Romeo is fast asleep in there. Why do I literally love a holiday food shop so much? I'll move to Spain. <laughs> yeah, we'll move to Spain. You're coming home with me, honey. Hummus. This guacamole. I'm literally such a sucker for marketing. You can't even actually see the actual guacamole, but I love the way it looks on there. Come on, babe. Saint, I've got something really cool to show you over here. Make your own orange juice. Well done, darling. Keep going a little bit more. Look at the oranges moving. Stop, stop. Good job. Just in Try the some. nick of time. Is that good? Oh. How is it? Yeah. Mmm. Oh my god. Nice, right? When we were here last year, I bought the most stunning, it was literally like Kinder Bueno um, spread. It was this. No, it was, it was something like that, but it was like a mix of like a white and milk, choc, oh this is it, choco leche, oh literally absolutely a vibe. I had a bigger tub though and I have a feeling I'm going to need a bigger tub, do you know what I mean? Ones are they? Yeah, I've never seen anything quite like it guys. Saint picked some rocket ship ice lollies and they all come in a little packet and there's like seven of them in a pack. They're cool aren't they? Oh thank you darling, put it back in there. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. How is everybody? Luella has made an appearance. So, don't be mad. Saint's going in the lift. Saint's going in the lift and Daddy's going in the stairs. Bye, Daddy. Bye-bye. Is yo-yo okay? Bye-bye, Mommy. Pass up, Mommy. Yeah. That one. Don't be mad, guys. But today is actually our not, third mom. full day. We're going down, actually, my love. On holiday. I've not been a very good vlogger. I've not been taking my job of bringing you guys along on this holiday very seriously. Hola. Uh, Hola. There. there it 
is. This is the people wagon, guys. I am really contemplating getting one for. I know, Con literally really wants one, everyone. So if we trade this in for the range, don't be surprised. Right, right Mr. Yo Yo. Good morning, my handsome chops. Okay, I'm so sorry if this hat is like extremely obnoxious and it's a huge distraction while I'm trying to talk but it's just so big like if I try to put it anywhere else apart from my head it's just a real faff to um try and move around basically so the days I decide I want to wear this hat it's a commitment my love but we usually spend our mornings at the beach this is the beach here it's a gorgeous gorgeous beach it's just have so much fun and Connor and Saint have actually already walked down to meet everybody else. I can see them right now. Saint's got his little wakeboard with him. He calls it his spaceship. So funny. But me and Romeo had to just stay in the car because Romeo needed a quick feed. And I'm just walking him down in the pram. I'm really hoping that he's going to have a nice nap in the pram. I just literally have a little Amazon fan. It was about £12 that I just attached to like a little bar on the pram. Put his white noise dream egg machine in there. Dummy in he's good to go and that's how we've been doing it this holiday really just like giving Romeo his naps in the pram and it's worked out really well but yeah I don't know how much oh, this is the hard thing guys right this is like a bit of a dilemma I've been really feeling on this holiday holidays change when you have kids not to literally state the obvious but it's true when we're spending like so much time at the beach or at the pool which is obviously what we're doing it's really it feels a bit strange picking up my camera and vlogging and i i really don't mean that in a way that like i don't enjoy it because of course i do and i hope you guys don't take it like as offense that i don't want to vlog but it just feels strange i'm sure you guys will understand what i mean like the kids are running around in like swimming costumes and obviously we're here with my sisters and um my nieces and nephews are the same and it's obviously one thing when it's your own kids but when it's other people's kids it's it's harder to just like whip out a camera and start filming like it just doesn't feel right so if i don't really get much footage of like our daytime then that's why it's just because the kids are all in swimming costumes the kids are my life and what i'm here for this holiday you know just waiting for my night in shining armor to realize that i'm here yeah this is the beach setup we've got our parasols our chairs from decathlon is trying to put together a heart for us in the sand to do a heart photo shoot. This is our second heart, guys. Well, actually, no, the, this new outline of our heart is our third heart, if you've had this. We did have one over here, but it was just a complete failure. I don't know if you guys can still see it. We're getting there. How's it going? We're getting there. We've had to get Jordan Carter on, on board. We've had the whole fam, the whole car. Everyone's had the their part to fan. play. Jordan was giving us his builder expertise. Tom's turn. And Jensen's overseeing the whole thing. Hello! The heart thing turn out. Should we insert photo? I think I've it worked out. Photos. I think it worked out quite well to be fair. I feel like if I had a little bit longer, there wasn't as much peer pressure. Con was feeling, over me like. Con was feeling on, the pressure on. of the heart. And then did you see other people start taking pictures in it? You should start charging for your services and build oh, no. hearts in the sand. I should get down there early doors and say £10 a ticket. <laughs> £10 a heart. Anyway, we've come up for a little bit of lunch. Saint has so much fun at the beach, but it gets to a point where it's like. He's got about four yawns in there. Really? It gets to a point where it's just too much for him in the end. Really tried to keep up with like, all of his big cousins. I know. We've come for a little bit of lunch before we go back to our apartment and take the kids down for a nap. Romeo had a really good sleep in the pram actually, didn't you? Oh, you're looking. What's mummy doing, yo yo? You're just a big, gorgeous boy, aren't you? <gasps> Romeo, happy three months birthday today. I thought you'd been around for a year. I know. I can't remember life before him, can you? Not really. Like, you like the, when he was asleep in his pram, and both Connor and I could play with Saint, it was like, I can't believe there was actually ever a day where we could just both like give our full attention to one child. Like, Romeo's only been here for three months, so it feels like... Oh, isn't it? 
He's a bit hungry, I need to go and change him and then feed him. What's your favourite lunch spot on the Boulevard? It's called Surfers Bar. They just do really like classic um, food, don't they, to be honest. It's like garlic bread, sandwiches, cheese, cheese on everything, hot chocolate fudge cake for dessert. This kind of vibe, it's our favourite really. Quarter to four in the afternoon. Both the babies are asleep. Been asleep for quite a while, to be honest. I think Saint should probably be waking up literally any minute. I was quickly popped to the shop to get us some more water, and then he is letting Jensen and Jesse in because Jensen and Jesse are going to come to our apartment pool to do a bit of swimming with Saint. Saint is literally so obsessed with his cousins he's really got to an age now where like it's so obvious that they're just his idols everywhere they go they have to be holding hands every minute he's not with them saying it's like where's Johnson and jesse and it's just really really cute and it's funny because i remember this time last year when we came here for my dad's 60th birthday and we all stayed in a in a big villa to be honest it wasn't really as much as i loved obviously like being with the fam and having a lovely time with them in terms of a holiday with baby it wasn't really the most enjoyable experience and that's just me being really open and honest because saint wasn't walking but he was at an age where he like wanted to be walking all of the other kids were that just that bit older i feel like there's a real developmental change between a just gone one year old saint had when did we come? Satan was about 11 months, so he was just before he turned one. And say, like, the age he's at now where he's just turned two. And even then again, like, when they're three, that it's, there's such a difference in the age gap. And, like, what they're able to do and what their interests are and stuff. And so because there was just that little bit of an age gap, last year, Satan really felt like such a baby. And it was just a hard age. It was just a hard age, realistically. Whereas this year, this is, like, the first proper holiday that he is just thriving like with um i don't know just like yeah being with his cousins I just can't believe how quickly they grow up honestly it's gone by in the blink of an eye saint's life so far i think this is jensen jesse and connor now just coming in hey guys you got your oh wow wait, what have you got thank you thank you hello my gorgeous nephew hello oh. You know, every time I come on YouTube looking like this, I just think, I have a great friendship, you and I. You know, I really barreled. Connor's just taking all the kids down to the swimming pool. I thought I'd actually use this opportunity to get ready. Romeo needs a decent nap. And so far, I've only put a little bit of makeup on on one of the nights. And I've bought so many really nice outfits with me. Not that I like, have to wear makeup with them to make them nicer, you know. But I just want to have some nice family pictures to look back on. Honestly, I swear, like, every family picture we have, or, like, any picture Connor takes with me with one of the babies, I literally am like, oh, my God. Passion of mine, honestly, like, making myself, like, look nice and feel nice and everything like that. Such a passion of mine, but I just haven't really had much time to do it, to be honest, since I've had a baby. So I thought we could get a little bit glam together tonight. So I'm going to use this Kevin Oswan um, Glass Glow Face. This is in shade Cosmic Flame. Yeah, I've really wanted to come and, like, chat to you guys on here about... How I've been feeling this holiday because as I was literally just saying to you guys, this is the first holiday that's saying in particular. He's really like on a holiday. Do you know what I mean? Like it's so cute. Seeing him like live his best life and like spend loads of time with his cousins and be like one of the kids rather than like one of the babies, obviously. I had so many plans before I came out here to do like loads of social media content, like loads of TikToks, loads of pictures, do loads of vlogging. By the way, this is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Such a nice foundation. I would say this foundation and Charlotte Tilbury um Beautiful Skin, I think it's called, are my two absolute favorites foundations they're just so nice but yeah i had loads of plans to like get loads of pictures and things like that and then since kind of getting here and like really getting into my flow with just being on holiday it's been really nice just to get into holiday mode with my two babies and just seeing things like saint really enjoying the beach and saint really enjoying the pool and kind of doing all of these things really for the first time like even when we went to dubai in february before Romeo was born. Saint wasn't particularly like having loads of fun at the pool and at the beach compared to how he is now. And it's only like six months later, do you know what I mean? But thinking about my holiday vlogs before we had kids, stuff like 
like Lanzarote. Like if you were here for the Lanza era, you will know what I mean. But like I had loads of time to spend getting ready and when I was by the pool, I could literally just read my book for three hours on end. I could like plan all of my outfits to be really cute and we could stay out late. Not that we ever really did because you guys know it's not me anyway, but we could kind of do what we want, wake up when we want. And so of course that made for a really good vlog. But, and speak of the devil, look who's just calling me. Hello! Hello, Hello Boo, are you okay? Yeah, you? Kit Kat, I was just speaking about our Lanzarote days. So much. You missed you them. You're getting ready for something. What are you up to? We are going for a picnic on the beach tonight. Oh, that would be so nice. For dinner, yeah. I've been working all day, but I'm going out to my, after my work. Where are you going? I've got, I'm going to the work spa barbecue. We've got like, I've got two more shifts after. Um, I've got a shift at seven o'clock, and then I'm going back my work friend. Yeah. Nice. Where's Saint and Romeo? Saint's out the pool with Jensen and Jesse. Ah, oh, that's nice. Romeo's asleep, but I think he's actually just woken up. Look who's come to join us. Prime example of what I was talking about. <laughs> Holidays are different. I love you so much. Oh my goodness, that's some good kicking yo yo. We bought like a cheap little bouncer from the supermarket and best thing. He started to make some very funny squawks now. I have a feeling he's going to be a chatterbox more so than his brother. Do you know, best decision ever for holiday is always, no matter how like long the appointment might seem, getting LVL lashes and uh, laminated brows or whatever brow treatment you choose. It literally saves me half of the time when I'm doing my makeup. Yeah. looking forward to unwrapping this hair because I forgot to bring shampoo and conditioner and the only thing I could find in this apartment was shampoo so I've had to just do a shampoo wash today so everyone wish me luck the makeup product I will always always love this reminds me of the Lanza days using my favorite ever lip liner MAC strip down and I think I'm actually gonna use hmm I'm not sure which one I want to go for. I think I'm going to go for MAC Creme de Nude. This is a really nice nude shade. Or just keep it basic and go for the Jizu Honey Infused Lip Oil. I think I'm going to have to do the lipstick. The Jizu Lip Oil is for like when I'm by the pool, you know? And that is as much as I'm going to go tonight, I think. I'm not putting on any mascara or anything like that. Taking here, my big boy. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hello. Hi. Did you go swimming? Yeah. With your cousins? Yeah. Oh, that's lovely, darling. Oh, my big gorgeous boy. It's out. Oh. It's out. It's out. Why? Oh, you want to get him out? Yes. Okay. Mummy will help you. Wait a minute. Just like that, we're back at home. Back to reality. Back to reality because this morning when we took the boys for a walk, one of you guys was sick in the back and that was a really lovely reality, wasn't it? <laughs> reality check. I don't know. Herbie's got his bandana on, haven't you? <laughs> Connor got it in a package from Ghost and Herbie really likes it, don't you? You're usually a bandana boy, aren't you, heck? But you're letting your big bro have a turn today. So guys, we're home. Listen, back to my usual attire, as you can see. Not that I actually ever ended up looking very glamour like out of this world on holiday anyway. I've just finished putting together this vlog and I am a bit sad <laughs> with the outcome of it. I had my best intentions that Herbie's saying, don't be hard on yourself, ma'am. I had the 
the train. I had the best intentions with this vlog to really bring you guys along. But as I know, I've already touched on lots in this vlog now. Um, it was just at its core a real family oh. holiday. We were spending loads of quality time with my sisters and the kids and it was our first holiday as a family of four and i guess we were just like finding our groove with it a little bit and like i said holiday vlogs really like aren't the same as they used to be because if you've got children you'll get it holidays just aren't what they used to be when you've got kids and that's not me saying at all that like it's a bad thing personally connor and i by far much prefer our holidays now with our children despite it not really feeling like the holiday it used to feel like before having children but you make just i don't know like life not to get deep we don't need to get deep because i do that every video but life just feels so much more meaningful to me now i've had children and so holidays feel so much more meaningful it really feels like what life is all about and so we were on holiday this time and I think it was to do with the fact that it was our first holiday as a four and obviously we've got Romeo now I was just still really finding my groove with it and I really wanted to be present and spend a lot of time with my children I promise I'll get better at the holiday vlogs if we go on holiday again hopefully sooner rather than later start their day fingers crossed I was also a little bit conscientious that because of the nature of this video and it being like a family vlog it was very motherhood focused and again, I feel like this is something that you kind of get if you have kids that like, obviously they do become your whole world. And I kind of, I don't know, I'm not being apologetic about it at all. Like this is my life, this is my content now. But usually I try hard not to make my vlogs so like parent focused and motherhood focused. But sometimes that just is reality. I really appreciate you watching it even if you don't have children which i know that some of you don't and you still stick around and watch the whole vlog anyway and that to me is just like i couldn't appreciate you more and i'm so thankful that you're here with us on this wonderful journey of life and yeah i don't really know where i'm going with this but i guess i just wanted to say that i appreciate your patience as i'm trying to navigate being a mum of two and doing these things for the first time like going on holiday as you can see we are home now and but I don't know if you can see it in the background because I can't really see, but it's literally like the fifth hundredth wash load. So we got home, we only got home yesterday. Um, house is a tip already, but you know what? It's okay for the house to look like you have kids that live here. It's okay to look as though you have kids. It's okay, it's okay not to, to, be okay. to be in the thick of it. You know, it's okay, it's okay. I love you guys so much thank you so so much for watching once again i appreciate you so much especially if you've made it all the way to the end of this video then really thank you from the bottom of my heart i'm not gonna lie this vlog is like <laughs> i feel like i'm being really hard on myself and i don't want to be but i feel like this vlog is just not my best work <laughs> and i appreciate you being here for the hundredth time but thank you so much for watching guys i hope you're having a lovely week so far next week is mine and connor's first wedding anniversary which wow i can't believe don't know where that time's gone so stay tuned for that because i'm sure we'll be doing something exciting i love you guys so much thank you for watching and um i'll see you in the next vlog bye guys